beautiful strangers and welcome to Cat React. I'm Cat and I react to pretty much anything I want. Nothing fancy, nothing complicated, just a woman reacting to whatever she can stumble on on the internet. Pretty amateurish, but that's the way I like it. Today I will be rea reacting to a film called The Frighteners. And I must be honest with you guys, when I saw the poster I was... No, I wasn't about that. It looked like a horror film and I do not deal with horror films. Not, no, just no. I hate horror films. Don't ever give me a horror film. Um, but I was reassured that it wasn't a horror film, so I, I guess I just have to trust it. If you want to come along in the journey of discovering what this film is all about, then great. Hop on and let's go. This already looks like a horror film. I will not promise that I will get through this film. <laughs> ah, ah, shut up! Is she dead? Is that a ghost? Well, that's some hideous wallpaper. I wouldn't live there just for the wallpaper alone. Ah! Love, your walls are made of rubber. Maybe go check on that. Oh! Ah! Give me a heart attack. The mystery heart condition that has killed over 30 people in less than four years has claimed another victim. Doctors are baffled as to why seemingly fit and healthy people are suffering massive heart attacks. Well, if they live in scary houses with rubber walls and grandmas with shotguns, I am not surprised that they are just dropping like flies. Not at all. It appears the Grim Reaper has once again returned to the quiet streets of Fairwater. Such a shame. I mean, that's one way to promote your business, I guess. Oops. My God! Oh my God, I don't believe this. This is not happening! My lawn, you, you ruptured my lawn! Calm down. Give me a call. Pay for the damages. You're damn right you're gonna pay, because I'm gonna sue your ass. Well, like... Over a fence. Frank Bannister's psychic investigator? This was goddamn bullshit! I got your license plate number! You bastard! Who hurt this man? She was cutting the vegetables, and a knife slipped. I'll drive you to the clinic. Patricia never leaves the house. Red flag number one, two, three, and four. Thank you very much. You don't know who my daughter is, do you? I know the truth. It was cold. Uh, murder. This woman gives me the heebie-jeebies. I can't, I can't, I can't. In the space of 27 blood-soaked minutes, 12 innocent people gunned down by hospital orderly John Charles uh, 15-year-old Patricia Ann Bradley was also implicated in the killings. She was madly in love with the psychopath Barkley. That's her. What the hell is this doing here? I thought I tore this up. Oh no! Okay, no, we got a floating bed. Nope, I do not deal with floating things. People, goats, beds, no. And we got a floating Elvis. Okay. Oh, I hate dolls. I hate dolls. I mean, there's got to be some kind of rational explanation for all this. Yeah, 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 yeah. The electricity in your house is just flying rapid. That's why uh, the dishes are floating and everything is just going crazy. I'm on my way. Did the bed levitate? Yeah, yeah, with me on it. <gasps> what, are you gonna shoot the ghost? It's holy water. Yeah. What the hell are you staring at? He's been mocked. He's gonna be the next victim! Sometimes I'm slow, to, I'm slow to the party, but sometimes I get there much quicker. Yeah. Oh! Can we not have people do this? Oh, 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 oh hello. Throw up. Psychic, there are people coming out of your trunk. Maybe go check on that. Man, I hate that trunk! 
Yeah, well, I don't want you guys spreading your ectoplasmic muck all over my car seat. You guys didn't even bang the toilet seat lid. You made me look like an asshole. We strained our backs lifting that heavy ass bed, Frank. Oh, yeah, who was the oh. idiot who put the number in the guy's forehead? It wasn't funny. <laughs> oh. What in the hell is going on out here? <gasps> Get back in your grave. Oh. 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 Cool. It's a goddamn tragedy! <laughs> Hiya, Frank. Hey, Walt. The FBI is very concerned about these deaths. They look like heart attacks, but when they slice these people open, their arteries are just whew, clean as a whistle. But there's been this tremendous pressure on the heart, like the life has just been crushed right out of it. Mr. Bannister, did you want to see me? I, th I thought perhaps you might have a... A message from, from Ray? Tell her I'm here, Frank! Tell her! Frank! Oh! Yeah, you might as well comply. He's never gonna go away. Hi. Hi. That you can see Ray and I can't? I was in an accident. I don't know. They say that sometimes when you have a traumatic experience that it can alter your perception. It, it wasn't what you would call a good marriage. You bitch! Get away! yourself hey get your hands off my wife <laughs> Ooh. Uh -huh. oh good food huh <laughs> god i hate mirrors i hate mirrors i hate mirrors so much Looks like another heart attack, but I can't confirm it till the autopsy. The waiter says he saw this guy coming out of the john about five minutes before the body was found. And who might that have been? Frank Bannister. Oh, I'm still a bit shaken up from the mirror scene. Jeez. So your dead husband was having dinner with you at the restaurant. Lucy, this is Special Agent Milton Dammers of the FBI. Apart from that Hitler-looking haircut, he looks like he's seen some shit. And in it was a utility knife with a retractable blade. The argument continues to rage. The car leaves the road on a sharp curve. She was killed. The body was found some 15 yards from the car. But here's the odd thing. Deborah's corpse had the number 13 carved into its forehead. <laughs> Honey, maybe it's not such a good idea that you are everywhere where people are dropping dead. What? The journalist? There's no money for you here, Mr. Bannister. You next. Are you threatening me? Stop! Oh, this does not look good. By all accounts, you're kidnapping this woman. This does not look good for you. Oh no. Oh, this looks horrible. I oh, know. Come to report that Magda Reese Jones' body is lying near my car. Frank, did you have anything to do with her death? <gasps> you got a kiss for Honey Bunny? We have a body count of 28. Nina Kolagina, with the power of her mind, stopped the beat of a frog's heart. Their heart imploded, their arteries burst, and all because Nina Kulagina wanted the animal dead. I don't kill people. I've seen a figure in a cape. I've seen him reach into people's chests and squeeze their hearts. Who was it? Death. Frank? Come out of it, man! Wait, wait, wait. He didn't believe anymore. Patricia! Patricia! Dr. Lynn! Ah! Oh, Patricia, are you all right? You 
can't go on like this. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> no! It was Johnny. I couldn't get away from him. I thought he was gonna kill me. Wait, is this the Shining crossover or something? It's Mother! On my side! You speak out later! How in the world? <gasps> Lucy! Ah! Oh my god! <gasps> ah! <sighs> I'm, I'm over, I'm, I'm over this film, I'm done! Oh my god. Oh my god! Frank, listen to me. I found your knife. It was hidden in old Lady Bradley's closet. Look at me. No. What is oh, it? No, don't. I think we got him. What was that in that cell, Frank? I felt something crushing my heart. You got holy water. It's only one way to deal with this thing. I gotta have an out of body experience. You are not gonna kill yourself. Wait. Ah, no. Ah. I cannot deal with um, sharp objects going into skin. That's just. No, 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 no. So slow your heart rate and lower your body temperature. You'll have 20 minutes, Max, and, and any longer than that, and there's a danger of tissue damage. That's only if I can successfully revive you. I mean, there's no guarantee. Godspeed, good sir. Say hello to the other planets. How is she going to explain it, though, if he dies? Ah! Ah! I'm reviving him at nine o'clock. Why would we want to do that? You unethical psychopath. There we go. Let me go, you bastard! Let me go! Let me out now, you bastard! <laughs> it's the serial killer? Johnny Bartlett. Harry Sinclair. I just want to shake the hand of the man who finally avenged my death. You've got a number. Bartlett carved it into my forehead as highly dying. I was the last. <laughs> there couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> But he didn't manage to kill him! Johnny Barlin is back. Patricia! Patricia! We have to get out of here. Okay. No, Patricia, we have to go now. It's it's just not safe here. Johnny Bartlett's back. I know. You know? Why has he come? Because you were in love with him. Patricia, please, let's just ah! I wanna kill her now. Watch! <gasps> That'll give us 41. She was in on it the entire time? Poof. You can come. Mrs. Bradley, are you coming with us? She's probably dead. Oh, oh my god! Lucy! She... Watch! Oh no! This is why you should never have paintings in your house, like of, of people, like portraits. Never. These are Johnny Bartlett's ashes. What? We gotta get these to the other side. There's a chapel. There's a chapel in the old hospital. God. Thank you. Let's see. Maybe ask them. Where the chapel is? I'm looking for Ward 12. Uh, go up the stairs to the fourth floor, down the corridor to your right. It's just opposite the chapel. Thank you. Oh. Get out of here! Ah! Oh. 
chapel's on the fourth floor. <laughs> oh my god. I wanna cry now. <laughs> Focus! Let me guess, you have to get these ashes to consecrated ground in order to destroy the forces of evil. Give me the goddamn urn, dammers! No! <laughs> you need to just fudge off. <laughs> oh! <sighs> Are they getting sexual kick out of being in a mock? Ew! something isn't it that it's just not your time Frank. <gasps> i thought you and i could collaborate on a book about all this you know if you're looking for a collaborator how about your uh, guardian angel over there uh i'll see you frank <laughs> bye bye <laughs> That was me watching The Frighteners. Never, ever going to watch that film again. Ever. Too many jump scares. And yes, I know there won't be jump scares the second time. For me, they probably will. For true horror lovers, this film is nothing but a comedy. And yes, it had comedy aspects to it. The ghosts weren't realistic and all that shit. But these psychopaths running around with shotguns and, and butcher knives and, and god knows what scared the living crap out of me. So, no. Not gonna watch it again. Good film though. Good film. Must say. I mean, it's a must watch for those who love this kind of stuff. Not for me, no. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos five days a week, so you don't want to miss that. I'll see you in the next video.